Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we would be discussing about the different testing frameworks which can be used with Selenium. There are mainly two testing frameworks, one is JUnit and the other one is TestNG. Let us see what are the advantages they give. They give us a very good reporting output. They help us group our test cases and run them in subgroups. They give us a setup and a teardown option so that if you want to open the browser and close the browsers, they can be separated from our actual test. They give us a good set of libraries including the assertions. They help us integrate with other tools like Maven or Jenkins for our continuous integration. As per the Google trends, right now JUnit is leading in the market compared to TestNG. However, TestNG is a new tool and has multiple features which are not present in JUnit. Let us compare the advantages. If you are using TestNG, it gives us an option to run our same test case with multiple sets of test data. It gives us a default report and it helps us customize our test case execution so that you can run your scripts when something happens. For example, when a test is skipped, when a test case passes, when compared to JUnit, JUnit has a very large user base because it is a preferred tool for unit testing too. And as a result, whenever new tools are introduced, they tend to be supported only for JUnit. For example, Cucumber and Gradle. Let us compare the, the script. If you are using JUnit to achieve the setup, they give us a before annotation. The runner is a Java class here. And to run it through command line, you will be using runner.junit core and the Java class. When it comes to JSNG, it also provides runner annotations. There are different levels of annotation which can be run before class, before method, and before suits. Here, the runner is an XML runner. And to run your testng through the command line, you will be using testng and the testng XML. Let us see these example codes so that we can see what are the advantages they provide. The first one is without any framework. So you would be writing your own runner classes. And if you see the example, this is an example we use. We are navigating to a new tool site and verifying the title. Here the assertion also we had to write our own. This, this is the second example. It's similar. It's going to the sign on page of the site and verifying the title. Now, let us see the example with JUnit. When you use JUnit, the first difference you would be seeing is the runner class. It's a suit and it has some annotations called suit class where you will be mentioning your test classes. And when it comes to our test cases, you will have a before and an after where you can do our setup and the tear down. So this comes default with this testing framework and the assertion. Previous cases, the assertion we were itself writing. Here, JUnit provides different assertion libraries. When it comes to TestNG, as you can see, uh, the suit is an XML file which has uh, different levels here also. We are using the class level by giving the test class names. And the test cases look similar to our JUnit test cases. The before will be a before class and other things all look similar. And here also you can see testng provides us an assertion method which we are used. Another thing you have to notice is both the places they have their own jars. So these two jars are coming are needed to be added to the library so that the test cases can execute. And the main difference if you are using testng is it gives us a HTML report at the end of the execution. So if you want a report at the end, you can see this is the output which TestNG provides, which includes an HTML report with the execution details. Now let us go back. Let us analyze one more time what we learned from the example. If you are writing your own uh, you are writing without any framework, so you will have to write your own runner, all your libraries like assertions. If you use JUnit, JUnit provides all of them, like the runner as a Java class. And if you are using TestNG, it even provides an HTML report at the end of the execution. 
let us conclude our learning so don't try to reinvent the wheel and create your own runners and test framework use any of these two testing libraries understand why we really need them so that it will help you know what are the advantages when we use them even if we use these testing tools we would be having other problem which we will try to solve with uh, our uh, next videos one of those example is the build hope you guys got an idea see you in the next one